what are the clinical features of pyelonephritis? Fever, vomiting, loin pain and tenderness. Tell me about the collection of a urine sample for investigation. First clean the genitalia with soap and water and allow to dry. Then collect midstream urine sample without touching the skin into sterile white mouth screw cap container provided by the lab. Early morning sample of urine is usually preferred. Then what about transportation of the samples? The sample should be properly labeled and sent to the microbiology laboratory within two hours of collection with a request form. The time of collection of sample should be indicated on the request form. What if there is a delay of more than two hours? Then the specimen should be refrigerated at 4 Celsius for maximum period of about 6 to 8 hours and transport in the ice. Why we refrigerate the sample? Urine is an excellent culture medium for organisms and its components decompose quickly. So to preserve the original colony count of the sample, uh, we refrigerate it to RS colony growth. What if there is no refrigerator or your refrigerator has broken? Then keep the specimen uh, on ice in an insulated flask and transport it. Tell me a culture medium you would use. Clad medium. Tell me an organism that shows mucoid colonies in that medium. Klebsiella. Okay, what about E. coli? What is the colony appearance? They show non-mucoid yellow color colonies. What is the criteria to identify significant bacteria? 10 to the power 5 or more organisms in 1 milliliters of urine. When do we consider any urine culture growth as significant? When we use suprapubic aspirates to culture. What are the methods that you can use to collect urine sample from a child with nappies? A clean catch sample into a clean pot by an adhesive plastic bag applied to perineum, a urethral catheter if there is an urgency in obtaining sample and no urine has been passed, suprapubic approach in severely ill infants who requires urgent sample. What does it mean by sterile pyuria? Presence of past cells in a negative culture. Give me some examples. Renal tuberculosis, treated or partially treated uh, cases of UTI, urethritis, um, vaginal discharge, uh, fastidious organism, uh, renal calculi. What are those fastidious organisms? Mycoplasma, ureoplasma. Tell me about the collection of urine sample of a patient suspected with renal tuberculosis. First voided early morning whole urine sample for three consecutive days should be collected into sterile, dry and leak proof, uh, sufficiently large bottle. Uh, specimen should be stored at 4 Celsius uh, until all three specimens have been collected. What are the differences between gonococcal and non-gonococcal urethritis? What are the causative agents? Non-gonococcal urethritis is characterized by mild dysuria and clear or white thin uh, mucoid urethral discharge. Main causative agent is chlamydia trichomatis. Gonococcal urethritis is characterized by severe dysuria and purulent Urethral discharge. It is caused by Neisseria gonorrhoeae. How to collect and transport the specimens for investigations of urethritis? Aspirate pus discharging from urethra with a sterile syringe before using antiseptics. It should be properly labeled and sent with a properly filled request form with patient name, age, sex, clinical history time and date of 
collection. Then it should be inoculated immediately for culture. If not, can we can use a transport medium. How can you differentiate those two types of urethritis by light microscopic appearance? The gram staining of the specimen shows gram negative intracellular diplococci in gonococcal urethritis, but those are absent in non-gonococcal urethritis.